pussy calls me. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost me. Fantastical, that's what the hoes call me. Mizuma TV back with some more boxing news. All right, guys, shout out the boxing scene for this article they just put up uh, regarding Kell Brook and Eddie Hearn. According to the article, Kell Brook and Eddie Hearn finally agreed that um, now is their time to move up to junior middleweight, 154 pounds. Now, if you guys know Kell Brook, he is a pretty big welterweight. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he seemed a lot like mu like muscle mass wise. He seemed to be the biggest one out of the whole in the top of the division, um, and has made multiple statements saying how he's struggling to make the weight, and that um, he believes that one fifty four would be his best move. And he said that after the triple G fight because he he had admitted that he was too small for the division, but he says that one fifty four would be the perfect fit for him. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, they took this one last fight at welterweight because Kel Brook didn't want the fans to make it seem like he was ducking Earl Spence. But uh, Eddie Hearn has made it clear that they wanted to duck Earl Spence. You know what I'm saying? He made it real clear after the fight. He said, oh, Kel Brook's real stubborn. I told him to vacate and move up to 154 pounds despite the mandatories. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kel Brook was like the king of mandatories. You know, fucking Gavin, JoJo Dan. But they didn't want to fight Earl Spence, and they they under now we understand why they didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially after the outcome of the fight between them two. Now, uh, th this is real clear. Um, that they didn't. This just proves right here that they really didn't want to fight Earl Spence at all. Uh, they went out on a bad note. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that Kell Brook is done and that he'll never be the same after this fight. Um. I heard boxing ego say something along those lines. And that might be true, you know what I'm saying? Certain fights take a lot out of you. And um, I think it was a dumbass move for him to fight at middleweight in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It would have been so much of a better fight if Kell Brook would have been undefeated and Earl Spence would have been undefeated because somebody's O would have had to go. And that would have attracted more casual fans. But, you know, um, Kell Brook dared to be great. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what they like saying over there. Um... Which is bullshit, you know what I'm saying? They know they didn't have a shot against Triple G. Just based on how his record, his corner reacted so quickly after Triple G started to put all this pressure on him, they didn't really come to win. They just wanted to pay that. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Hearn kind of fucked Kell Brook's career up because he could have had Eubank Jr. fight Triple G, who was a true fucking middleweight. You know what I'm saying? But he, he, he chose to put a welterweight in there instead. He paid for it, you know what I'm saying? Broke an orbital bone, and now he broke his other one against Earl Spence. So, uh, that was just a bad move by Eddie Hearn. He should have not let that happen. He should have let a true middleweight in Eubank Jr. fight Triple G. But, you know, these things just don't happen how you want sometimes. That, that's what money does to you, you know what I'm saying? Money make you do stupid shit. Um... But yeah, man, um, at 154, oh yeah, what I was going to bring up is I don't know if Kell Brook's going to do that well at 154 pounds. I mean, he, he'll be relieved a little bit of, of losing weight and cutting weight, but I think he would still struggle with the top guys. I don't think uh, Kell Brook would be able to defeat uh, Demetrius Andre, the Ares Landy, Lara. Uh, he would struggle with a Miguel Cotto. I know that. Uh, he, he'll have a lot of tough time. He will have a tough time up in that division, man. But let's just see how uh, Kell Brook's career goes along. I guarantee they won't take a big fight after this injury heals. Let's just see how he takes on 154. Shout out to y'all for watching this video, man. This is Mizuma TV. Subscribe to your boy, and I'm out.